Lesson 4 Creating Masters In this chapter we will discuss about creating sale type and purchase type master. Sale type and purchase type masters are very important masters as they contain information that transactions in which they will be used would be local transaction, central transaction, single tax rates will be used, multiple tax rates will be used and based on the information specified in the sale type purchase type masters various validations are applied in the transactions. This means on the basis of details you will specify in the sale type master and purchase type master various validations would be applied in that transaction. So here, first of all, we'll discuss about creating sale type master. To create a sale type master, go to administration master's sale type option. At the time of company creation, Visic creates almost all types of sale type master. However, if you want to create a new sale type master or want to modify an existing sale type master, then you can use the sale type menu. Here, first of all, we'll discuss about creating sale type for local single tax rate transactions. Local transactions means within state transactions and single tax rate transaction means the transactions in which only a single tax rate would be used. That is, all the items in the voucher are taxable at a single rate. So here we are specifying the name for sale type. We have specified the name as LGST 12%. Here L symbolizes it's a local transaction and 12% means all the items in the voucher will be taxable at 12%. So you should also give a relevant name to the sale type so that looking at the sale type, it could be easily ascertained that what all information this sale type contains. Here, first of all, we are specifying the taxation type as taxable voucher wise, which means that tax will be applied in the form of bills and trees. Then we are specifying the region as local and type of transaction as others. In the tax calculation group, we are selecting the single tax rate option as we are creating this sale type for single tax rate transaction. Then we are specifying the CGST rate and SGST rate. As it is a local transaction, hence CGST and SGST will be applied. So we have specified 6% CGST and 6% SGST. Next, we will discuss creating sale type for interstate single tax rate transaction. Interstate means central transactions, outside state transaction and single tax rate means only one tax rate will be applied in the voucher. So here we are giving the sale type name as IGST 12% where I symbolizes interstate that is central transaction and 12% means all the items will be taxable at 12%. In the taxation type group we are selecting the taxable voucher wise option. In the region group, we are selecting the interstate and type of transaction as others. Then in the tax calculation group, we'll select the single tax rate option and then specify the IGST percentage. In the local transaction, we have specified the CGST and the SGST rate. And in the central transaction, we have specified the IGST rate as in case of interstate central transaction, only IGST is applied. Click save button to save the sale type master. Next, we will discuss about creating multi-tax rate transactions. Multi-tax rate transaction implies that in a single voucher, there are items with multiple tax rates. So, we'll specify the sale type name here. We are specifying the name as L multi-rate. We are creating it for local transaction. You can create for interstate transactions also. Then in the taxation type group, we will select the taxable voucher wise option. Here, one thing we would like to tell is that multi-tax rate transactions could be voucher wise and item wise also. We'll discuss both the cases. So first we are discussing the taxable voucher wise option, which means we'll apply tax rates in the form of bills and trees. Next, we are selecting the region as local. In the tax calculation group, we are selecting the multi-tax rate option. That is, we want to apply multiple tax rates in the voucher where this sale type would be used. As we have selected the multi-tax rate option in this sale type, now whenever you'll use the sale type in the sale voucher, then you need to apply the tax rates in the form of bills and rates. Suppose you have entered a voucher in which items are taxable at 12% and 18%. So you will specify two bills and rates, one for 18% and one for 12%. If it's a local transaction, then CGST, SGST at 6% and then CGST, SGST at 9% each. So total 12% and 18% and Busy will automatically pick that on which item 12% tax rate is to be applied and on which item 18% tax rate is to be applied. Now from where Busy will pick this information? This Busy will pick from the tax category you have specified with the item master. Next here an option apply consolidated tax amount for all tax rate is provided. If you specify yes in this option, 
then you only need to apply CGST and SGST bill sundry without specifying any tax rate for local transaction. And for interstate transaction, you only need to specify IGST bill sundry without specifying any tax rate. Visi will automatically pick from the item master that what all tax rates are to be applied in the voucher and it will automatically apply tax rate accordingly on different items. Now one point here arise that how you will get to know that what is the taxable amount, what is the tax amount on which item Busy has applied 12% and on which item Busy has applied 18% tax rate. Then that all information is displayed in the voucher itself in the form of tax summary. So this is the multi-tax rate transaction wherein we have selected the taxable voucher wise option. Click save button to save the sale type master. Next, we are discussing the sale type master for multi-tax rate transaction wherein we will select the taxation type as taxable item wise. Taxable item wise means that uh, we will specify tax rate with each item and will not specify tax rate in the form of bill sundries. Like whenever you will enter a voucher and press enter key on the amount field of the item, a tax details window will appear which will show the tax applicable on that particular item, the taxable amount and the tax amount. So busy will pick all this information from the tax category master as specified with the item. So here we are specifying the region as local. In the other information group, you will specify the tax accounts like tax account for CGST, SGST, CES account, additional CES account and then click save button to save the sale type master. Next, we will discuss creating sale type for tax inclusive transaction. Now tax inclusive transactions are those in which items price already contain the tax amount also. So basically we will do a reverse calculation to segregate the taxable amount and the tax amount from the item amount you have specified in the voucher. So here we are specifying the sale type name as L tax inclusive. In the taxation type group we are selecting the taxable item wise option region we are selecting as local and then in the other information group we are specifying yes in the tax inclusive item price option this means that prices will specify in the voucher includes tax amount also as told we will do a reverse calculation and at the bottom in the tax summary it will display the taxable amount and the tax amount and the total of the taxable amount and tax amount would be the item amount as you have entered in the item grid in the voucher Next, you need to specify the tax account for CGST, SGST, CES and additional CES. Click save button to save this sale type master. Now we will discuss creating other sale types. In the other sale type, we will include sale types like exam, sale type for RCM and so on. So first of all, here we'll start with the sale type for exam. Exam means that the items in the voucher are exempted from GST. For such type of transaction, we are creating this sale type. We are giving its name as exam. Then in the taxation type group, we are selecting the exempt option. Then click save button to save the sale type master. Next, we are discussing about the reverse charge. Reverse charge mechanism means that the liability to pay tax shift from supplier of goods to the recipient of goods. And there are other certain services in which there is compulsory to enter an RCM bill. Like the services of lawyer falls under compulsory RCM. So for such type of transactions, we are creating this sale type. We are specifying the sale type name as re reverse charge. In the taxation type group, we are selecting the reverse charge option. Click save button to save the sale type master. Next, we are discussing creating sale type for export taxable transactions. First of all, we would like to tell that export in India is zero rated. That is, you are not required to pay any tax on the export transaction. However, in certain case, there is a need arise that you need to pay the tax on the export transaction, but later on you can claim full tax amount from the government. So indirectly, this case is also like the export is a zero rated transaction, but we will discuss both the cases that how you can enter a sale bill for export when tax is charged and when tax is not charged. So first of all, we are discussing about export taxable transaction. We are giving the sale type name as export taxable. Taxation type we are selecting as taxable voucher wise. Region we are selecting as interstate export normal. And in the tax calculation group, we are selecting the multi tax rate option. Click save button to save the sale type master. Next, we are discussing about creating sale type for SEZ zero rated transaction. 
SEZ transaction and export transactions are totally similar. Like they are both zero rated transaction. You are not required to charge any tax on them. But still, in case you have paid the tax, then you can claim the full tax amount from the government. So we have discussed export taxable transaction. On the same configuration, you can make the SEZ taxable sale type. Here we are discussing SEZ zero rated or we can say non taxable sale type. So here we are giving the sale type name as SEZ zero rated, taxation type as zero rated, region, interstate, SEZ unit we are selecting and then click the save button to save the master. Now we will discuss about creating purchase type masters. Purchase type masters are totally similar to sale type masters. The only difference being the sale type masters are used in our sale transactions and purchase type masters are used in our purchase transactions. As they are totally similar, we are not repeating different purchase type masters as we have covered all the aspects in the sale type master. Here we will discuss only those purchase types which are different from sale type masters or the cases which were not covered under sale type master. So here, first of all, we are discussing about creating purchase type for import transactions. So we are going to purchase type add options, specifying the purchase type name as import. In the taxation type group, we'll select the taxable voucher wise option. Region, we will select as interstate import normal. And in the tax calculation group, we'll select the multi tax rate option. Click save button to save the purchase type master. Next, we are creating purchase type for composition purchase which means we have made a purchase from a composition dealer. So here we are specifying the purchase type name as composition purchase. We are selecting the taxation type as composition dealer, region local and click save button to save the purchase type master. Next is creating purchase type for local unregistered RCM transaction. If you have made any purchase from an unregistered dealer or it's an RCM transaction, for example, you have taken services from a lawyer, then you'll enter a purchase voucher, which will be of RCM type. So here we are specifying the purchase type as L unregistered RCM. In the taxation type group, we are selecting the unregistered RCM option. Region we are selecting as local and then we are clicking the save button to save the purchase type master. So these are all cases that we have to discuss in this particular chapter. At the end of the chapter, we have provided certain exercise. You can view the exercise on screen and attempt it. Hope after going through this chapter, you would be able to easily use sale type master and purchase type masters in busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.